Hello everyone, Silak here with another tutorial on my YouTube channel. So in the last video we were making our NPC walk around the map. So today we'll be focusing on making our NPC look at the nearest player. So what we have to do is insert a script into our dummy. Here's our dummy. He has already animation script prepared. So he will look cooler. So now let's insert a script. So first thing we need to do is declaring a few variables. Let's start with the neck. Whoops, caps lock. Local neck equals workspace. NP oh no, he's not called NPC, he's called dummy. Head neck. And what neck is? It is a connection between the upper torso and the head. So we will manipulate the C frame of the neck so the dummy can look around. The second variable we will declare is our NPC. So local NPC equals workspace dummy. Okay, so let's make two sections here. First section is finding the nearest player. And the second is looking at nearest player. So let's focus on the first section. We need to create a function. And we will call this function, function get closest player. So here we will declare two variables. First one will be the closest player and the second will be closest distance. I will type here 200. This is the maximum distance the dummy will notice you. So if you want your dummy to have better sight, you can type in here 500, you can type in 1000, but I will stay with 100. Let's see. Now we need to look through every element of workspace so we can find all players. So for a player in pairs, workspace, get children do so there are two things we need to check here if we want to check if this element is a player so we need to check if this model contains a humanoid so we need to find first child humanoid and we need to check if this isn't our NPC so player does not equal NPC. Then what happens? We need to check a distance between our NPC and the player we are looking at. So local distance equals NPC primary part position minus player primary part position. magnitude magnitude allows us to get a distance between those two elements so now we need to compare the distance we just declared with the closest distance we declared earlier so if distance is smaller than closest distance then it means that this player is the closest one yet so we type in closest player closest player equals player and the closest distance equals distance after all of this is done after the script loops through all players we return the closest player Okay, so
So now we move on to the second section, looking at nearest player. I will use a while true do loop. So this function will run infinitely. With ipen local player equals get closest player. So now we know where, who is the closest player. If player is found, then we need to check if he is in front of the NPC. Because if it is behind the NPC, it can't just it just simply can't turn its head around 180 degrees. So we check if the player is in front of the NPC. And we do this by getting our NPC C frame. So NPC primary part C frame and using function to object space and in brackets we type in player C frame Z coordinate and if this coordinate is smaller than zero that means the player is in front of us but if it is greater than zero it means the player is behind us so if player is in front then if I missed if if player is in front then now we move on to the most important part which is manipulating C frame of our neck. So first thing we need to do is getting a direction in which player is. So we type in local unit equals NPC primary part C frame position minus player primary part position unit now we can finally move on to the neck c0 which is c frame equals and here we need to set up one thing before we move on because as you can see if I will just type in c frame new create a simple vector free new at the beginning and then type in unit on a second place you can see oops wrong symbol so okay now you will see that if I play this the game now well funny thing will happen because Character's head will be inside his belly and we certainly want to avoid that because well it's not how it is supposed to be so first thing we have to do is place a minus here I, for I forgot about that and we need to get position of the neck C0 so local C frame zero equals neck c zero now we just multiply it by the thing we wrote before and it should be all good now so if I play the game now The NPC will look in my direction. He's following me. And if I move behind him, he stops following me. So yeah, 
that's all I wanted to show you today. Make sure to leave a like if I helped you. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.